Hi, this is CatCam Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how I created such a part in Blender using the Cat Sketcher add-on. We will start by creating a new file. I'm deleting this cube and we will start here by adding a new sketch. We will create a sketch on the XZ plane and create a cross-section sketch of this part, so that later we can use the command that will create a solid by rotating the sketch around a specified axis. This is a quite well-known command in CAD systems and such a command is also available here. We can use such a command, therefore we will create a cross-section sketch on the XZ plane. Let's switch to a top-down view of this plane, I clicked here on the Y axis and now we will create a shape using lines, select the line drawing command and create a preliminary shape that will define the cross section of this solid. Let's draw something like this. Here the command works in such a way that by drawing subsequent line segment they are connected to the previous line segment. We are drawing such a shape. And here by accident I ended the line drawing, but the line drawing command is still active, so I will just draw one more line. Now right click to finish this line and right click again to cancel the line drawing command. And we will go to add constraints and dimensions. First I would like this line to align with the X axis, therefore while holding the shift key, I select these two points and choose the horizontal constraint so that these points are placed in a horizontal line. It is worth noting that when you hover over any command a tooltip appears and we also have information here that we can use a keyboard shortcut. In the case of the horizontal constraint it is shift plus H. As for adding dimensions we can add dimension by using the keyboard shortcut alt plus D. Then we add the distance dimension or we can also do it using Alt plus V or Alt plus H. By choosing the Alt plus V shortcut we add vertical dimensions while Alt plus D adds horizontal dimensions. And now let's add a dimension to the length of this line. This line already has a constraint that it is a horizontal line so we can simply use Alt plus D here. Select the line and here we have the dimension of this line. Click on the dimension and change the value to 25 mm. Next, again, Alt plus D, select the line, click on the arrow and here enter 5 mm. And regarding dimensioning, we can first select the feature we want to dimension and then we select to add a dimension and here enter the dimension of 4 mm. Ok, next. Let's grab the sketch and move it slightly. Here we still have information about 2 degrees of freedom. We still don't have a dimension for the height of this solid. So select this line, select the distance and here enter the height of this solid as 25 mm. Next while holding the shift key select these two points, press Alt plus D and here we change this dimension to 20 mm. In one of the previous videos I showed how to add chamfers and fillets. We can do this on the solid or at the sketching stage. We will add one fillet and one chamfer at the sketch stage and then we will add a chamfer and a fillet on the solid. When it comes to adding fillets on the sketch we can do it in a very nice way. We simply select the bevel command, select the corner and we have added a radius. Here we can set the radius value, enter for example 3 mm, press enter and the radius has been added. Ok, now I right click to cancel this command, but note that now I can change the value of this radius. This sketch is fully defined, but this radius doesn't have a permanently defined value, so we will add a dimension here, select this radius, select the diameter command and here we can check use radius so as to dimension the radius and enter the radius value, for example 3 millimeters. 
Okay, now this radius has already been dimensioned and by grabbing any element of this radius I cannot freely change the value of this dimension. And now we will also add the chamfer at this corner and as I mentioned before regarding the navigation we zoom in and out by rotating the mouse wheel and if we want to move we press shift and the mouse wheel to move the view in the workspace. And now let's add the chamfer here. And when it comes to the chamfer, I didn't find a command that would add the chamfer in the same way we added the fillet, but we can easily add the chamfer by creating a line. Select the line and now while this line is highlighted, click here with the left mouse button so that the start of the line is connected to this line and then I place the second point on this line. Now this line is connected to these lines and go to the trim geometry, select the trim command and cut this and that geometry. Here if we remove this geometry the dimension will also be removed but soon we will add the dimensions so that the sketch is fully defined. Here we have 3 degrees of freedom because we simply lack a few dimensions. First I will cancel this command. Right click to cancel the trimming command. Now if I grab this point I can freely change the position of this geometry. This is what it means that we have degrees of freedom here. This geometry is not yet fully defined. Let's add the chamfer dimensions here. In this case we need to add two dimensions, horizontal and vertical. First I press Alt plus V, select this point and this point and here I enter the dimension value of 2 mm. Press Enter, then Alt plus H select this line and here also enter 2 mm. As you can see we can specify distances between points or simply specify the length of this line and we can choose either vertical or horizontal dimension or simply the length of this line. And now we need to add a dimension between this point and this point. Here I choose the shortcut Alt plus V and add a dimension of 4 mm. OK, and we have a fully defined sketch. And based on this sketch we will create a solid by rotating the sketch around a specified axis. Here select Convert Type to Mesh, leave the sketch and now we add a modifier to this element. Go to Add Modifier, Generate and this time select the Screw command. The solid has been created in such a way that for sure it is not what I was looking for. So we need to change the axis here. Let's choose the Y axis and now it is much better. By default the Z axis was selected and the sketch was rotated in such a way. Here as the axis to create this solid we need to specify the Y axis. And now by changing the numbers of steps we can smooth this solid a bit. And ok, this way we can create a solid by rotating the sketch around a specified axis. It works similarly to CAD systems. And on this model we also add a chamfer and a fillet. I noticed that in the case of the solid created in this way, when we go into edit mode, I pressed the tab key on the keyboard to switch to edit mode, we don't have a large number of vertices and edges here, we simply just have the vertices and edges, just like that profile which was used to create it. In this case we can easily add a chamfer and a fillet based on a vertex. We have vertex selection activated, select this vertex, then from the vertex menu select bevel vertices, drag the mouse so that the chamfer appears on the model, and here we can specify the dimension of the chamfer. And the chamfer has been added. Next select this vertex, select the same command as before. Drag the mouse so that the chamfer appears on the model. Here enter the dimension as 2 mm. And here we can change the number of segments to add a fillet. OK, press tab to switch to object mode and we have something like this. And that's all for today, thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.